An illegal call is where we get an input from your thermostat that shouldn't be recognized by the RZL panel. Rather than damage your equipment by allowing that call to go through, we're just going to ignore it. And you can see an illegal call with the Heat Pump Pro by going to your zone screen, zones one, two, three, and four. And once you go to those screens on the call line, you're gonna see dash ILL next to whatever inputs we're receiving from your thermostat. So we know that we have a call from our thermostat, but absolutely nothing is happening at our RZL panel. So first off, we can go to our zone one messages. We have a call for heating and we use the heat pump thermostat, but it says it's illegal. We have W1Y1GO-ILL. If you see that message, it's because your reversing valve is energized and heating. If you use a heat pump thermostat on zone one, the reversing valve is only energized and cooling. You can clear that fault code quickly by disconnecting your O wire and that will allow the heating call to go through. So now we've disconnected our O wire. We have W1Y1G-Heating. Something you might also see, if you use a heat pump thermostat on zones two, three, or four, they only accept heat cool thermostats. But if you were to use a heat pump thermostat, you might actually energize both heating and cooling circuits at the same time. You could see a WYG-ILL. This could also be if your thermostat wire is pinched or if you have a faulty thermostat. Now, if you want to call for heating, you would disconnect your Y wire and that would allow the heating call to go through. If you want to call for cooling, you would disconnect your W wire and that would allow the call for cooling to go through. So right now, we'll let it go for a cooling call. We'll disconnect our W wire that clears the illegal call, and now we have YG-CLG. Zone three, we have Y-ILL. If you have a call for cooling, you have to have a call for both Y and G at the same time. If you're missing that G, the Heat Pump Pro is gonna view that as an illegal call, and the fastest way to test that out is to place a jumper across your Y and your G And of course I hit the button. So now that we have Y and G jumpered out, we have YG-CLG. The board allows that cooling call to go through. We know the heat pump pro is working correctly.